Hey, it is Plex City, and today we are back with some Plex Talks. How y'all doing today, yo? I'm doing, like, I do, uh, Plex Talks. I've been noticed I'm doing Plex Talks, like, every Saturday. So, I guess that's, like, we're gonna be a day with Plex Talks, because each seven, like, seven videos I post, the last, like, last of the seven is gonna be Plex Talks, and it always ends at a Saturday. So, it's like, Plex Talks is just, like, to, I guess see how everything is going right now each week but it's up to you because i i don't want to like take away the gaming from y'all so it could be like once a month or anything like that so it's up to y'all if you want to choose if you want to if y'all want plex talks uh, like to be once a month um i could do that so we could just do once a month but if you want plex talk to be i guess once a week still like we're doing right now we could but anyway how is y'all doing yeah i'm i'm doing fine right now i've been recording videos and shit, yo, today is the day, like today, when you see this video is gonna be recorded today or Saturday. So you know what the deal is, each Saturday I always be kinda late, so this video is probably gonna be late to like, post or maybe, I don't even know. But, anyway, so today is the day that I'm going to record 30 videos in one day. That means non-stop, no like, no texting or anything like that. I might text for a little while, just to check up on people, but... 30 videos in one day that's the challenge 30 videos in one day because i don't want i don't want y'all to miss anything out because like for me to be like busy and all that with school and everything i don't want y'all to miss out and so i really want to do this so like i could take a break and y'all could like still watch my content without being like missing a day or without being like late so it's going to be there it's going to be there but anyway I let's see what's what should I talk about? Yo, I got some, so many like support on that last Plex talks because I didn't like to me I didn't want to be like an asshole. I thought I was I was being an asshole in that video and I was gonna take it down because I thought I was gonna be an asshole. But many people like really, like really like thought it was like a good idea. I mean like not a good idea but thought that that was true and I was speaking like right about it. And I was like, wow, like, look at this, so many, like, support. I, like, I never want to be an asshole to people. I never wanted to, I never want people to see me as, like, a, like, a bad guy. I want to see people to see me as, like, a good guy. And I know it's going to be, like, hate in the world and everything, but maybe we could, like, take over that hate with kindness. I feel like we could do it, like, one day. Like, you know, today's world, like, I'm, of course I'm going to make a speech about it, but today's world has been, I guess, nothing but judging and spreading rumors and all of that just nothing but hate and that negativity is traveling through the earth right now and people like and people think that if they could take that hate to themselves they could like i guess get quote unquote famous and all that the hate is just like a negative thing i feel like if we spread it with more positivity and maybe we could just take away that hate that take away that negativity that life has and like like in the world and just like transform it into kindness i keep a stutter i need to go back to english <laughs> but transform it into kindness if you know what i mean basically what i'm trying to say is that hate is everywhere in the world and we should do something to like replenish that hate with kindness so basically making a trade saying that oh hate is like trying to control the world so we're gonna just try to defeat hate with kindness and positivity because i think we, we could do anything when we put our mind to it, i'm sure it will take like a long time to do it but we, we also have to be patient determined hardworking, and that's just and once you once you be all of those be determined do hard working and like be consistent and also be patient i think those are like the the keys I'm not saying of the keys of success but also the keys of changing the world so you can do anything you put your mind to just even change the world it could be a job it could be youtube it could be anything if you have those types like patience consistency working hard determination you can do anything you set your mind to and even if you like even if you like you start from the beginning because remember Famous people, like, I guess, like you say, Will Smith and everything, everybody, like, every, every famous people or the person that is successful, they started from the, like, they started from the bottom. Like, just like us. Just how, like, we started from the bottom, they started from the bottom, too. And now they, they was determined and hardworking to reach it to the top. And that's what I'm, like, I'm trying to tell you, that you can do anything. And I feel like if we was, like, all those four steps, all those four, like, keys, we could change the world to, like, completely positive. 
and I think that we could do it. So this, I don't know, like I made the speech, but I just my dream is to change the world. My dream is to change the world and to make it to more positivity and less negative negativity. And also my other dream is to save people because I feel like if I like I want the world like people to I guess be depressed and everything like say the world is a bad place because only our choices or the things that happen in life make us think that the world is a bad place the world is just the world the world is just there to stay and the world is just there for us to live in we can't say that the world is like a cruel place to live because we the world never did nothing to us it just been rotating for the past like I don't know centuries but we just like the problems that we face inside the world and what's make us like what makes us think that the world is a cruel place but it's not it's just the problems that we face on inside the world makes us think that the world itself is a bad place to live so I feel that if we say to ourselves that the world is not a bad place and that we just need to like when we face a problem we just need to fight it head on with a smile and with more positivity that if you keep on getting if you keep on getting more problems in the future that it won't phase it like it won't hurt you because you already know what you do you already been used to the pain and suffering and now you're just you're just staying positive no matter what and also i want to tell you this story like there's a teacher in my school she's so positive like every like every time when i say it, she's like hey good morning and everything like she's so positive like nothing in her is like negative at all and so i asked her like how do you stay this positive like how do you how do you how do you stay this positive and determination even though even through the bad things in life how do you stay positive and determination and determined she goes and say that because she witnessed a horrific thing in her life that changes her life completely and because of that horrific thing less like the small problems that i face is nothing compared to that big problem that i had to face in the past and like i guess she what she meant to say is like she had like a bigger problem that she had to face and it really like made her depressed and everything and because of that problem it really changed her a lot to become like more positive and everything and from the little problems compared to the bigger compared to that big problem the little problems that she faced along like past that big problem those little problems it was, didn't face her because it's not really as bad as the bigger problem so i think in life we have to face like we have to try to defeat a bigger problem so that when the small problems come through we can't really be faced by that because it's a small problem. If you if you get what I'm saying, I'm, I'm kind of confusing, but if you get what I'm saying, then... Well, good. <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say, like, then good. But, that's what I mean, like, you just have to stay positive. Anyway, any problems that you face, anything like that, you just have to stay positive. Any, any problem that you face in life, you just have to stay positive. Like, when a problem comes through, just smile at it. Just say, yo, you're not gonna face me. I will never give up. And I never, like, if you look at your, look into your past, you never gave up like even though you had problems even though like you wanted to give up you're still alive right now meaning that you never gave up on those problems you just kept on going through in the future and so i'm, I'm saying right now since you did all that in the past i know i know promise you that you can keep going you can keep going through it because you did it before so you can't say that you never have tried because you're still alive right now. So that my guess is that you did try. So I know that you can I know that you can fight you fight your problems head on in the present. Or even the future that is. Because you fought it before. Oh I've I'm, been I'm preaching and everything. Like, I should become a pastor if it's not. <laughs> but anyway, yo. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, uh, summer's almost here. And I hope like I'm hoping like my videos is like being like good to y'all because Again, I only post, like, I only do YouTube to make people smile, of course, to save the world, and of course, to save people. And if I could just make one person smile throughout the day, then I'm happy with that. Because, like, all because of, like, I'm, all because of that, all because of what Markiplier said, like, been changing my mind. Because I was, so, I, like, I saw his Markiplier video, he said, he said that if I could only make one person smile, that would just make my day. And then... That that really hit home because I felt the same way, and so because of that, I'm like determined and positive, and positive that I could do this. 
through YouTube because people have been believing in me, supporting me and everything. And I feel like I, because of that support, because of, because of y'all, because of the Plex Nation driven, driving me, driving me that motivation that I can keep on going. And it's because of y'all that I am, I keep on going with YouTube and everything. So thank you so much. I mean, like, I mean, you're dead right now. Like, if it wasn't because of you, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be the best person that I am right now. Because of Markiplier, if it wasn't because of Markiplier, just something kind of PewDiePie and everybody, because of the, like, the quotes, the messages and everything, I wouldn't become, like, a the best person ever. And I feel like, ever since I was a kid, my dream was to save the world. My dream was, like, I think that was my, like, my purpose in life, to save the world. And to defeat the bad negativity that it has in life. So... Because of that, like I saw YouTubers like striving to be do the same thing to help people with depression and everything, and to be the most like entertaining and make other people smile throughout the day. Cause when, like I guess without them, then they, you can't really see the message of defeating determination. But anyway, I'm rat I'm rattling on. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, I'm also thinking about doing Plex talks. This, but this time vlogging, like like using a camera and everything, so that'd be kind of good. But I think the game is actually better because it has the music in the background and everything. But I could put music in the background, so who knows? I need, I just need a better camera. But anyway, this is Plexity. If you like the video, smash the like button, million times, bajillion times, and this is Plexity, and about peace.